Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the click you smell. Mm, just astounding today, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Did you know we're gonna do something absolutely amazing today? I will give you a hint on what this video is about. That's right, Facepalm, a beautiful video with a lot of questionable content that we are gonna go through together and probably do some hahas because that's what friends do. Enjoy. Mwah. Oh, by the way, uh, this is coming out soon. Little bubbies, and this bubby too. Uh, keep an eye out, it's probably a couple of weeks or so, yes? No freaking way did Peter just do this. God, autism? Studies have shown a link between cow's milk and autism. Really, Peter? You're going this route? <laughs> <laughs> but what about all the little baby cows that drink cow milk? Does that mean all the cows are autistic? Yes. Peter, I could make fun of you when you were just making like lewd, weird, furry comics to prove a point about veganism or something. But but this this is just bad, man. <laughs> this is just bad. What are you doing? These are the lungs of a 10-year-old child that grew up in a home with a gas oven. They are not supposed to look like that. Oh, look at that. You know why it's not supposed to look like that? Because this is a, uh, this is a walnut. <laughs> Your body parts are not supposed to look like this. Well, maybe because the picture isn't even a picture of the body part. Gee, Karen. Become woke's worst nightmare. AI-generated blonde people. You hear that? If you want to destroy the woke. Become blonde. <laughs> what even if this is supposed to be like family values or something? At least you could have used a picture that isn't AI generated and looks just psychotic. <laughs> Carnivore, omnivore, vegan. Tell me again how we are designed to eat meat. Um, I haven't really researched this topic, but as far as I know, humans don't typically kill animals with their teeth. I'm not a biologist, though. Oh yeah, I can, I, I can... <laughs> Just wait until you find out about those rampant blood-sucking horses. <laughs> You'll be flabbergasted. Donald Trump complains Fox News keeps showing an unflattering photo of him looking orange. <laughs> They purposefully show the absolutely worst pictures of me, especially of the big orange one with my chin pulled away back. Unflattering picture. All right, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you here, D-Dog. I think all your pictures are unflattering. Just embrace the orange meme. It's a meme at this point. God. So you know when you want to keep your property safe and you lock it up so no one will snag it and run away. Look at this skateboard. It's locked up <laughs> so safely. I mean, at least you won't get the lock off, so it's gonna be annoying to ride it away, but I'm not sure if it's actually stopping anyone. A hashtag Stranger Things fan had her life turned upside down after being catfished by a scammer claiming to be Dars Montgomery. Can couldn't we have done a pun on this? You know, the upside down, which is like the world in Stranger Things. You, you missed your pun opportunity. I'm very disappointed. Who plays Billy in the series? The single mother says she left her husband for the scammer after meeting on an online forum and after sending them nearly $10,000. That is so sad. Oh my god. How do people fall for scams like this? There has been multiple studies as well as documented history that shows multiple factors at play. Most likely, she wasn't happy with her life and felt like he was an escape. So she played with the fantasy until she couldn't tell reality. If you really want to know further, look into Jordan Klepper's work in QAnon BS and how many have fallen for that. Despite various red flags, one instance has reinforced her beliefs of it really being Montgomery was when he told her to watch episode 4 of season 4, which was entitled Dear Billy the day before it came out. When he showed up in the episode, she was stunned. I was like, well, who else would know that? She exclaimed. Do you mean the episode named after the very character? What are the odds? Yes, because if it's one thing successful actors really need, it's 10K. Hey, whoa, whoa, if Chris Evans asks you for a Google Play gift card, you do not question the cap. That's true, though, that's true, though, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd give my play card to the cap any day. This is so sad, because we can obviously sit with Hindsight 2020 and say that it's an obvious scam. You know, if a actor reached out to me, I probably wouldn't fall for it, unless it was like Henry Cavill or something, hello there. You know, <laughs> yes, indeed. But, you know, most people don't fall for it, but that's the sad part. The people who fall for these kind of scams are people who are in vulnerable positions, because it's an easy escape. And then it's like, okay, in the off chance this is real, it could mean an escape for my life or something like that. It's wishful thinking, or it's lack of better understanding, or something else that really makes you want it to be true. Or in other cases, you have scammers that, for example, operate specifically in targeting elderly people that don't understand technology, for example. So scammers really do double suck, because they're not only trying to scam people, it also turns out that the people who fall for it most of the time are the people that can't really afford to fall for it. So it's really shitty. Men prefer debt-free virgins without tattoos. <laughs> 
What are you talking about, man? I think the funniest thing about this kind of BS as well is that everyone posting stuff like this are definitely on the choosing beggar side of things. Fam, if your personality is this non-charming even through memes, like goddamn, you do not have a wide selection of people that want to hang out with you. Jesus Christ. Welp, a 20-year-old student was sentenced to prison for lying about being R-worded by football players, then rolls her eyes during the sentencing. Wow, that really shows the right attitude, doesn't it? Oh my god, I'm getting punished for, for slandering people? Ah, oh, and also making it harder for victims to come forward? What? Ah, can't be me. In October 2016, Nikki reported to the police that she was being R-worded by two black Sacred Heart University football players at an off-campus party. She has admitted months later that a naughty assault was a lie in an attempt to gain the attention of another man. This is like the pettiest stuff ever. Oh my god, I really want Brad's attention, so I'm gonna slander these two random boys over here so Brad will like me. What? However, in 2018, she pled guilty to two counts of second-degree falsely reporting an incident and one count of interfering with police, and was sentenced to one year in jail and three years of probation. The men that she accused, this person and this person, were forced out of Sacred Heart University after losing their scholarships amid the false accusations. As of August 27, 2018, both men are no longer enrolled in the university and with no remediation for losing their scholarships. That is so sad. Losing the scholarship is bad, but imagine trying to get into another university or even jobs with that on your record. This girl should be imprisoned during hard labor until she can pay off their lost future earnings. Ah, jail? Do I have to? When can I go home? Fine, but can I have my phone in jail? If not, I'll be born. People like this are so freaking disgusting. She not only destroyed two lives with just false accusations, still lives that are destroyed even after it was proven wrong. She also makes it much more harder for real victims to come forward because there are a lot of people that use stories like this as like a scapegoat, being like, oh my god, I shouldn't believe people. Da, 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 da. So it's so bad on so many levels. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is so gross. System of a Down has raised nearly $1 million for Armenia with new singles. Why don't they help with the problems in their own country first before they worry about another? They are Armenian. <laughs> and even if they aren't, money raised for good causes is still money raised for good causes. I hate this kind of logic. I have actually seen this firsthand if I like want to work with charity or something. I've had people reach out to me and be like, why, why are you supporting this charity instead of this charity? It's like, we're supporting charity. For, for God's sake. 99 hours in a week, I am unstoppable. 99 hours and a gross revenue of $1,100. So that's like $11 an hour. Isn't that like below minimum wage? This isn't, this isn't good. <laughs> no. Question number eight. Tell how to make 10 when adding eight plus five. What does that even mean? What kind of garbage test is this? You cannot make 10 with the eight plus five. Yes, you can. Take two from five and add it to eight. Eight plus two is ten, then add three. Okay, I see what they attempted to do here. So what they tried to do is teach like split addition. So you first add on so you have a clean ten and it's way easier to add three to ten as thirteen, right? It's like a little, little mind trick with math. But the question is so poorly formulated. What, what do you mean tell how to make ten when adding five to eight? It's so bad. It's so bad. This is the pedagogical alamaji we give our kids. Dear God, no wonder they're failing math. I mean, this is quite a ridiculous example, but there are many things like this with the school system that are quite bad. I remember specifically one student I have back when I did mathematical tutoring that came to me with this really weird piece of homework. They hadn't learned how to do... What's, what's it even called? Differentiate in English, I think it's called. Like the speed, the acceleration of things. Yeah, differentiate. They came to me with the homework they had right before they'd learned actual differentiation. And instead of just going into it and starting to learn about what that actually is, they started doing this weird thing where they split the graph into two to then find like the top peak and the bottom peak instead of doing differentiation and putting in zero and all that kind of stuff. And it only works for very specific symmetrical curves. It's a method you will never use again in your entire life after you have learned to actually differentiate things. And it's more complicated, more wasteful of time. You spend like a month learning this garbage method that is just like filler because you technically can't learn about differentiation until next month. Trash. Absolute trash. God. Tell how to make 10 when adding 8 plus 5. How about you adding some good homework for the kids? God. Can anyone help? Hobby put a drill into his leg three days ago. We had it covered in bandage. Also put collodial silver on it. It has healed over on the top and scabbed already, but now it's getting hot and red, suggesting infection not heal deeper down. What now? More collodial silver? Or should I do a castor oil wrap? 
Avoid tetanus jab. Don't get tetanus unless he works directly with cow poop. He doesn't need it. Cow poop. When did cow poop get into the equation? Homeopathic remedies 1000% get. Get what? Onion wrap in his socks each night will draw the nasty bacteria from his body. You hear that? Don't get a tetanus shot unless you have wrestled in kapu. The only thing you need is wrap your socks in onions. Trust me, I am a stay-at-home mom. Zeller is telling me this is hail damage. Ooh, you got some little holes on the car. Yeah, that's some, uh, that's some very fast-moving hail. That's also made out of metal, fired out of a gun. White men who own animals should be considered racist. Uh, whites, especially white men, have a genetic disposition to control those they deem inferior and derive pleasure in inflicting oppression and control. Or maybe, Becky, a mind-blowing concept, Becky. Maybe people just like puppies, Becky. Hmm? Not everything is malicious. Becky. Hence why white history is filled with slavery and brutality. I thought you were gonna say with like bad puppy ownership, but apparently this is... <laughs> this is like the leaps of logic we're making today. Great. White men who own black dogs should be an automatic red flag. Whew, Becky, I think you have a little bit too much time on your hands, and I think you need to get out into the world and like recognize what real issues are, so you stop doing whatever this bullshit is. Thank you. I also like how really racist this post is. It's like, oh my god, people of a specific skin color have this genetic thing that makes them racist if they have dogs. Genetics bad, fam. It's just so weird to me that not too long ago, someone with a regular old job could buy a house, like an entire house with just their job money. Ugh, I was talking about this with some peeps the other day, and it's so sad. Sometimes I just look at like my parents generation and how much they actually paid for like a house and I was like Why couldn't that be a thing by the time I reached 30? Are you kidding me? Oh my god There is a reason why there is like only one friend of mine who has a house <laughs> <laughs> This is so sad I mean even at this stage of my life I only have one friend who's recently gotten a house That's it I have a couple of friends who managed to buy apartments But that's it Like no one has a house No one It's insane the national interest, your dead, wrong use of your, five deadliest military rifles to ever fire a shot. Look at this, firing a shot mid- Wait a second, did you just take like a stock photo PNG of an empty round? There's- <laughs> You're firing the wrong part of the bullet. Is that- That's the part that comes- That comes out to the side. <laughs> Well, honestly, I didn't expect much once I saw that uh, glaring grammatical error in the very title. Quality, a quality article. Funny that you say that, but no one has ever directly observed a germ. <laughs> they might as well be black magic. <laughs> oh, so everything I haven't seen myself is black magic. Good. They have never been proven. I have seen bacteria, viruses, and parasites over the years. That's what happens when you spend years in medical microbiology laboratory settings. You tend to see these things on a regular basis. Have you ever seen one without the aid of a microscope? Mm hmm you see, microscope are just a fancy word for video cameras. So you're watching a recording of what Big Germa wants you to see. <laughs> what would even be like the end game of this conspiracy? Like that's the thing that blows my mind. Conspiracies are fun to dabble with. If like there is an actual motive that could make the conspiracy true, right? But what would even be, be, the, be the end game here? The, huh? They want you to think germs are real so they could sell you more ha hand gel. This is big, big hand gel. <laughs> so <laughs> or maybe these people just really don't like showers. So they're trying to create this conspiracy about like germs not being real so showering doesn't do anything. Even though you smell like garbage. <laughs> but that's, that's nothing. That bad smell has nothing to do with bacteria or anything. It's just, it's just like, it's just there. It's just there. A toddler has now shot a person every week in America for two years straight. Yes, you read that correctly. Where toddlers are shooting people. Number of times a person has been shot by one, two, or three-year-old since 2015 includes self-inflicted injuries. Okay, how long until we next get the next article about like video games and be like, toddlers are playing too many video games and that makes them shoot people. <laughs> God. My boyfriend criticized me for being on my phone during a movie, so I put my phone away and instead just talked the whole time. Then he gave me my phone back, like a freaking pacifier. Yep, sounds about right. Sounds about right. This is so, so You go from either not watching the movie or being a movie talker. This is like the ping pong. Oh, God. So you're ping ponging between like being the person who always watches your phone and every 10 minutes you're like, I don't like this movie. I can't keep up with what's happening. And if you take the phone away, you're just a movie talker. <laughs> That's 
that's the two modes of ping ponging. Multi-millionaire Brian Johnson receives a one-liter blood transfusion from his teen son in order to look young, one-fifth of his son's total blood volume. He spends two million dollars a year on anti-aging treatments. Is getting blood transfusion for really doing anything though? Is there anything verified? Uh, this sounds really strange. You know, it sounds really strange. Like, oh, if you're in an accident and you get a blood transfusion in the hospital, you just get younger, apparently. Before I checked, I guessed he's like 40, expecting to be surprised at him being like 60 or something. Uh, he's 45. I mean, keeping in shape and aging well, I think, is something to aspire to, but the, like, remaining young forever is simply not possible, at least unless we have like some technological revolution or something like that, which, as far as I know, hasn't happened yet. This quote from Christopher Hitchens comes to mind. It will happen to all of us that at some point you get tapped on the shoulder and told not just that the party is over, but slightly worse, the party is going on, but you have to leave, and it's going on without you. That's the reflection I think most upsets people about their demise. Alright then, because it might make us feel better, let's pretend the opposite. Instead, you'll get tapped on the shoulder and told, Great news, the party is going on forever, and you can't leave. You've got to stay, the boss says so, and he also insists that you have a good time. It gets deep really quickly, doesn't it? But I think that's a part of existence that gets really trappy in a feeling, you know, you're either trapped on this railroad and it always ends in the same way no matter what you do, or unless it's the opposite, you're trapped in it but in another way. You're like forced to be here no matter how excruciating the experience becomes. There are plenty of media, for example, that uh, displays this very nicely. You have the Doctor Who character, for example, that stops aging, but they still have a human mind and a human storage capacity, so they always just remember roughly one lifespan. So every time they meet them, they're a new person. And you know, they watch all their loved ones die, they have old diaries, about about their kids that died before them, so you know, they just promised themselves to never have kids again through their diaries, but they don't even remember their kids' faces. Um, you have other instances of this too, for example, the Wolverine is a pretty good story about like, not really aging or living forever, even though he technically dies after a while because of adamantium poisoning, but, but still, you get the gist. But I think there is something very deep about the mere question of existence with these questions. And also, if you live forever, for example, as a human, if you just stop aging and don't get sick, I think there's one calculation, for example, that says we're gonna live for about 9,000 years if we manage to stop aging completely. Because within that time frame, you're likely to, you know, have some kind of accident or something happens to your body or whatever it might be. So even if you're immortal, you're not gonna live forever. That's simply not something that is really plausible in an ever-changing universe. Like, the statistics just simply say otherwise. Which is actually one of the reasons I would think it's kind of cool if we do live in a simulation, because it means that stuff like afterlife would actually be possible, because there could be something beyond the veil, something beyond the code, or whatever you want to call it. You know, I think most of the population would have, like, an existential crisis that happened. Maybe I would too, you know? Hard to tell up until this point, but it would make certain things plausible that, you know, I think we all want to be true, at least to some extent. Anyway, uh, let's get on with some more lighthearted memes, shall we? Look at this! Communism! <laughs> What do you mean, communism? You just slapped a random word on this picture. Good job. When I woke up, my ex saying I went through his phone, and he immediately put on his shoes and said, Ah, oh, so I guess we're done. And left. Why are my aunts and sister missing from my contact list? My cousin's first girlfriend did the exact same thing. She deleted even my mother's, his aunt's contact. And she did this while he went to the bathroom and with me in the room. The girl was completely unhinged. I bet there are some people who read this as though he knows he did something bad, and some people who read it as his trust being violated. It can be taken both ways. The reader decides the narrative. I saw it the second way, but that's because that's what I should have done when my ex did this to me. Oh, that's kind of true, actually. It can be two different meanings to the story. That's kind of nice. I didn't even think about that. I personally never liked the feeling of, like, invading privacy, and it's not necessarily because you have something to hide, you know. I close the door when I go pooping as well. Just because I want privacy doesn't mean that I'm murdering someone while taking a poop. Are they? Vampires? Chinese parents sue daughter they abandoned for refusing to buy brother apartment, causing national outrage. <laughs> that is so entitled. Oh my god. You dump one child and then demand that child to buy housing for the other child, but you should probably do it because you're the parent and you probably shouldn't have abandoned the first kid in the first place. <laughs> god, that's so bad. Man beats up his 16-year-old son after seeing X-named application on his phone. Later found out that's Twitter's new logo. Um, hey guys, do you see the text on the right side of the image? Meant for satire. Thank god. I mean, not the Twitter name change, though, but... Yeah, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Like, it really looks like a in very inappropriate app when you open your phone nowadays. Hey bro, why do you have that X app on your phone? <laughs> silly, silly person. <laughs> 
Booking.com, this is illegal in many countries. Price for four nights only, $500. Not included. 18% tax, 10.62% destination fee, USD $6.27, 21% property service charge, USD $1 resort per stay, $53 cleaning fee per stay, $7 housekeeping fee. Well now, that's 404.72 in taxes and fees for a total of $904.72. What a deal. It's like double the price. That is so bad. This reminds me of all the hidden fees sometimes they have on delivery apps. When it's like, I'm ordering a burger for $10 and the final price is like 25 bucks. <laughs> what? Where? Oh my god, you paid $30 for a burger and you didn't tip $20 too? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. The American family. And plus contraception, plus abortion, plus divorce, plus gay marriage equals confusion. I think I am a girl. God, this comic is so bad. Jesus Christ. Postpartum abortion. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this child. Can we abort it? <laughs> but like contraception is a bad thing now? What? This is wild. They're not only against like the abortion, but they're also against just basic contraception now. And they think divorce is bad and gay marriage is... Are you, are you for anything? Is there like anything you like? No? There is an easy explanation for the top three. Kids are expensive, little to no paid paternity maternity leave, no affordable childcare and medical bills after having a kid even with good insurance. Norway has all those things and birth rates still have plummeted. It's a more nuanced subject. As countries reach a certain level of development where you don't have three-fifths of your kids die before the age of five, and as women enter the workforce, birth rates naturally go down. It's not a bad thing per se, but many countries, America included, will struggle with an aging population and a small tax base of workers to fund the elderly. It's also because of various social securities in countries. So for example, if you have social security for elderly people, they are less likely to get more children because the children won't directly have to support the parents 100% when they get old. So there are many aspects that correlate negatively with birth rates. Most of them are actually positive things. It's stuff like uh, equality, entering the workforce. It's stuff like financial stability, social networks for elderly care. Um, birth rates typically go down when countries are doing well, ironically, which we'll see in the next in the next couple of decades what the what the long game results of that will be. John Krasinski fought for a deaf actress to be cast in A Quiet Place and made sure the whole cast learned sign language on set. <laughs> Instead of just teaching her English. This is almost like telling somebody they should have just learned English instead of learning the alphabet. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, so now that Twitter has been rebranded to X, what are tweets called now? Xs. <sighs> Thank you, Musky Husky. Very cool. Princess Charlotte already speaks two languages at just two years old. So do most children of immigrants, but I guess it's less impressive when they're poor. I mean, yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah, I mean, here, for example, most people speak Swedish and English. Some people drops it off a little bit when the years go by if they don't work in English or, you know, consume enough media, etc. Uh, some people are speaking even three languages. I met someone down in Switzerland a while back who spoke like seven languages. <laughs> Makes me feel very inferior. <laughs> The Witcher producer blames a simplified plot on Americans' inability to follow complex storylines. The higher level of nuance and complexity will have a smaller range. It won't reach people. Nothing like winning over your audience quite like calling them stupid. Oof, the marketing vibes. Going to Target in blackface and demanding to see the pride section to own the libs. Oof, classy behavior, yes indeed. Why do humans, you know, just keep humaning? You know what, just, just why? Had a job interview today, fricked the manager, and walked out with a new job making $7.25 an hour. And y'all still asking y'all parents for money. Can't relate, haha, <laughs> laughing emojis, exclamation points. Oh yeah. Fricked the boss and walked out with $7.25 an hour. This is like sleeping with your professor and still getting an F. What's the point? <laughs> Guys, do not use diesel on a Prius or any car that doesn't take it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't fuel something with fuel that isn't meant for the specific vehicle. The station ran out of gasoline, so I used diesel since I figured it's just make my engine louder. <laughs> it does not make your engine louder. My car broke down, waiting on AAA. Well, I guess technically it made your car much quieter. That's a bit of a sales pitch, isn't it? I always cheat on my wife on holiday. It doesn't really count. <laughs> you're drinking, you're dancing, you're on holiday. It's going to happen. It doesn't really count. It really sounds you're trying to convince yourself that you repeated it doesn't really count in both the title and the subtitle. <laughs> 
The idea of making a connection with someone can feel too exciting to let slip away. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're both in on it and just be like, Hey, squad fam, we both consider our marriage open whenever we're on holiday and we just mess around and when we come home, like, we just forget it ever happened. I I'm not sure if I would recommend it. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, but like, but this doesn't sound like that. <laughs> this just sounds like someone trying to convince themselves they didn't actually do something bad. And they keep doing it, it sounds like. Say, oh, I just I just happened to cheat 10 times on, on the holidays, but it just happens, you know? It's it's just, you know, holidays and good vibes. You know, just, I can't contain my pee pee. Real art artistic license. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Napoleon Bonar Pat. That's not the right person, though. Yes, and the guy on the right is Napoleon Bonaparte. Come here to say this. The one on the left is Bona... B Bonarpate. Completely different guy. <laughs> Napoleon Boner Pat. Napoleon Pat Boner. I remember there was a similar trending post a while back that was about Martin Luther or something. So it mixed up Martin Luther and Martin Luther King. And he just scrambled the timeline completely. It was so confusing. <laughs> is Jim really worth it? Was there some sort of study that says seasoning decreased muscle growth? Or did bodybuilders just eat the food equivalent of a game over note every day voluntarily? I had a friend once tell me that they ate, uh, what was it, microwaved chicken fillets with a straight face. I mean, I think if you're just looking to fill your tummy, that's fine, but it sounds gross as hell. Wisconsin high school cheerleaders received awards for biggest boobs, but at banquet. Classy. Damn, I was thinking maybe it's just a clickbait headline and was the girls joking among themselves, but no, the whole article just makes it sound worse. Wisconsin school. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin school. Ending cheerleader awards for big booby and big booty after ACLU letter. Starting last year, the string bean award for the skinniest cheerleader was added to the list. This sounds classy. Good for like, uh, is this is this for, yeah, it's for high school students. Great, you really have a board of people being like, let's rate these high school students based on the biggest butt. This was something that like went through review and people thought was genuinely a good idea. Wow. Mom for Liberty, that sounds like a, like a Twitter account. All right, let's get into it. Mental health care is health care, Mr. President. That's why it has no place in public schools. Parental, wait, what? I thought you had a good point there at first. Like, mental, it, mental health care is health care. That's a good point. You could have ended it there. And <laughs> it's like, that's why we should have no health care in public schools. <laughs> Read what you wrote here. Yes, health care has no place in public schools. Do, do you want school nurses gone? I'm, I'm confused what you want here. Yup. Also, no sex ed or student counseling services. That stuff should obviously all be left up to the discretion of their local, wholly unqualified youth pastor, who definitely isn't openly perving on these charges. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is so wild. This really took me for like a 90 degree twist turn. It's like, oh, mental health care is health care. Yes, yes. That's why we should have none of it. Huh? I used to watch documentaries and wonder how the film crew can just stand there and let the gazelle get violently eaten by a crocodile. Respect to the vegans that have initiated discourse that this should be prevented. What, you should <laughs> you should stop the crocodile from eating the antelope? Do you volunteer? Do you, you wanna get in there? This is a joke, isn't it? What do you think a croc is supposed to eat? Honestly, that creature has no business being on my freaking planet. One of the few vegans with the balls to actually say that, though. Crocs have been here since, like, before the dinosaurs. I don't think they really care about human vegan movements. I'm just gonna put it out there. And, and like, a little side tangent as well. I thought, like, the whole vegan movement was more about, like, human cruelty to animals. You know, like, really tightly locked up farms and basically animals that get tortured to just become food and that kind of thing. You know, when it goes really haywire and it gets really bad. I didn't think it was, like, extending to animals. Oh, this crocodile has to <laughs> learn to eat salad. <laughs> Come on, crocodile. What's the problem? It's just a few hundred million years of evolution. Come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> Which is really ironic when you think about it, because that in of itself would become animal cruelty. If you have, for example, a captivated crocodile and you only feed it vegetables, that would be animal cruelty as well. Which goes against, like, you don't know, the whole vegan thing, what it's supposed to be. That's really funny. Oh. <laughs> what a stupid post. 
Bored Apes investors sue Sotheby's, Paris Hilton and others as NFT prices collapse. A group of investors is suing Sotheby Holdings Incorporated and others over a 2021 auctions and promoted a Bored Ape Yacht Club, non-fungible tokens, NFTs following a collapse in prices. Oh my god, the very memed NFTs that were trending on Twitter for a couple years ago was a bad idea after all. Oh my god, how, how could anyone have seen this coming? You know, to be fair, you usually say that hindsight is twenty twenty, but in this case, I think the site when we were there as well in real time was also pretty much twenty twenty. You know, it wasn't particularly blurry even back then. A Texas charity worker had been ticketed for feeding the homeless more than 40 times for up to $2,000 each. I just got my 11th ticket for feeding the homeless and this is number 30 for a food not bombs cool. What? Oh um, Conduct a food service event, feed homeless without consent of property owner. Which property owner? The owner of the street? Man, I'm so glad we could come together here today, put our minds together and stop the most rampant issue, like feeding the homeless. Great priority. BTS from Oppenheimer. Please stop using BTS to gain likes on your photo. Please stop using our BTS K-pop name. There goes my bacon tomato sandwich. First they came for my tomatoes, and I did not speak out. Then they came for my bacon, and I shot and killed their whole family and danced on their graves. Don't frick with my bacon. Oh yes indeed, that's very cool. Can you imagine getting upset about acronyms on Twitter? Man, humanity needs to go outside. We have an entire planet, come on. But I mean, to be fair, some of the people that go outside want crocodiles to be vegan, so I'm not sure if that's any better at this point. Abortion is worse than slavery. Modern women are worse than slave owners. Facts! Agreed! Oh, yay. Abortion is worse than... All right. Okay, that's, 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 that's a take, I suppose. Wow. My thoughts are that I somehow suspect these guys don't have to worry about abortions on a personal level. hey oh. And I also bet you that they're gonna be massive hypocrites if push comes to shove as well. If they knock up their girlfriend and are not ready to have a family yet, they'll be like, oh, But baby, can you please get an abortion? Because I'm not quite ready. I just wanted to do stuff without rubber, you know. God. But honey, you also posted on Facebook that I'm gonna be worse than a slave owner. But, but that's not for us, though. It's just for every... Ugh. Oh. God. Dinosaurs are not real. Well, I, t not anymore, I guess. Vaccines are killing you. Water dehydrates you. <laughs> Music is affecting your subconscious. I mean, technically, there are a lot of things affecting your subconscious, I guess. Humans can live to 200 years old. I could name 20 more. 20 more what? Random stuff you pulled out of your butt? But I will let you think about these. Wow. Food for thought, isn't that amazing? But to be fair though, calling this food for thought is like the same as eating dirt. You know, like, ooh, this is food for my brain. Juicy dirt. Mommy and Daddy's page. Okay, this could either be like family stuff or something completely different. Fan Q. My 28-year-old daughter is getting married this summer and insists on wearing white. I reminded her that I found rubbery things in her backpack when she was 17, but she still insists. She is going to stand in church pretending to be pure when she is not. Oh, I am worried about her soul. Ah, it's bad enough she's no longer pure, but to lie in front of God on her wedding day, I am ashamed. Can you imagine being 28 years old and your mother is this mentally involved in your naughty life and lie in front of God so God isn't aware that she's already done naughty things? He's waiting to see the color of the wedding dress to find out? Okay, what color then? Slight shade of cream, yellow for <laughs> just the once, blue, pink for the had a little more fun, red for ooh, things got wild. Go for it, girl! Wear black to your wedding, lol! <laughs> That'd be so beautiful before the bride comes into the room and the mother is just standing there talking to her aunts or something. Be like, oh my god, let's see the color of the dress. It's gonna be so beautiful. My pure little girl, but bam, full goth outfit. <laughs> this mother is like the parental embodiment of a migraine. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Debra has something good to share with the world. Let's check out what Debra wants us to know today. I've been thinking that for years, S-I-D-S -S is caused by the vaccines. Their tiny little bodies can detox all the toxins we're putting into them. As an energy worker... You mean like you work at a power plant or an electrician? I know how the energy system of our body works. Okay, so not an electrician. Okay. They are trying to stop the divine connection. Our power. I swear to God, the people who string the most buzzwords together, hoping it means anything, are like weird salespeople in like AI and stuff. And people like this, energy work, just string together a bunch of wavelengths and rocks and light blorben 
and Herben Snurgen. Bam! Energy worker. A Kentucky sorority girl dubbed the Queen of Chaos appears in her 10th mugshot as she boasts, This is one of my favorites, I stole a car, wrecked it, and then brought it back to my dorm. Queen of Chaos. Great. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something to be proud of. You're, it's gonna be difficult to get a job after you're done with, like, this phase of your life. You know, the kind of phase like, ah, oh, kids gonna be kids, you know, you make mistakes when you're young. This seems a little bit too repetitive, like, the first smack on the wrist should have been enough to tell you that, you know, maybe this is a bad idea. How do I change my Amber Alert settings to colored kids only? <laughs> Who calls them colored kids? What is this, 1845? So someone that makes comments like that doesn't strike me as someone that actually gives a frick about any Amber Alert. Yeah, no, it doesn't give me the vibes of the most uh, empathic person who would go out of the way to, like, help people in general. It just seems really, um, spiteful. Still beyond me, that Americans sometimes will act shocked that Middle Easterners can be Christian. Bro, it was Jesus of Nazareth, not Jesus of New Jersey. <laughs> How is this news? So sad that Europeans don't understand the feeling of having an ice cold glass of water when they come back from spending time outside. This is so incorrect, it hurts my head. What are you talking about? Refrigerators haven't been invented in Europe? Oh, I didn't know. Fresh for everyone. Four for five dollars. Limit three bread items per customer. But, but which sign am I supposed to listen to then? Hmm? Kroger? Please. You shouldn't drink smoke while pregnant because it can cause birth defects and disabilities. <laughs> okay, why are we so scared of having disabled children? Just another classic example of ableism. Eugenics and policing what women do with their bodies. Yeah, no, a lot of these things can have serious effects on your child's life, quality, and you're trying to put this under the guise of, like, liberty and doing what you want with your bodies and also ableism. Jesus Christ, you could use the same argument like, oh, I'm gonna run up to someone and smash their kneecaps with a bat, and they're not allowed to complain because that would be ableist. Ho Jesus Christ, man. We literally teach babies how to speak, so why can't we just raise the animals the same way and teach them too? You know, very good point. Let me know in a couple years when you taught your cat to speak. Never forget. One, you're not allowed to cry. Two, do not ever complain. Three, irritability and frustrations are failures of frame. Four, making excuses is gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an alpha male list written by like a 14 year old in a Call of Duty lobby. <laughs> Five, shifting blame is what women do. But isn't that also excusing? So does that mean that women are gay as well? Is that the line of logic here? Six, allowing others to evoke emotion in you is giving them power over you. I mean, yeah, having people that you genuinely care about is weakness, if you want to put it that way. Being vulnerable and being able to be vulnerable with someone is a beautiful thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Do you want to live alone your whole life? Anxiousness kills masculinity. I mean, yeah, anxiety is actually a real issue that a lot of people struggle with. Anxiety, depression have been very common, especially in this generation and after COVID and all that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure to talk to someone if you're struggling with these things. Uh, not because of this list. This list is trash, but it's more like a bigger issue. Eight, fear is not real. Uh, no, yeah, fear is very real. Nine, depression is fake. <laughs> Wait, so anxiety is actually real, but it kills masculinity. But depression is fake. That's the line. That, that's where we drew the line. Depression is not real, but anxiety is real, but anti-masculinity. Okay, got it. Ten, the earth is flat. <laughs> Just gonna squeeze that one in there. Hell yeah, really rounded off that list. <laughs> I got dumped for having red hair. My boyfriend's mom didn't want to risk having ginger grandchildren, so she made him dump me. He married a blonde and had two ginger kids. Karma, my kids are blonde. Ugh. When Steve Jobs died, he left a quiz that is 97% accurate at predicting your IQ. Only Albert Einstein has been able to ace it. Have what it takes, take the IQ quiz in at try the quiz, find out. Oh, yes indeed, gotta lure them in, I suppose, to people who wouldn't understand that the timeline this presents is a little bit wonky, <laughs> would be the kind of people you would want to visit your site because they're the only people that would take this result seriously. <laughs> it's like those people you see around Twitter go around like, I have, I have 215 verified IQ. This is the test I got from. The one that, the one that Steve Jobs made for Albert Einstein. <laughs> If you are religious, you should absolutely be in support of Zophilia. Okay? God gave us all these beautiful, amazing, dirty creatures to inhabit the world with. And also made it so that 90% of the private parts works the same way as ours do. It's like he was saying, go! Mix and match! Have fun! 89 likes. <clears throat> 
Great. Perfect. That's mm, nice. Mm, very nice. God gave us all these beautiful, dirty creatures that just c cease. Freaking! I would, I would tell you to go outside and touch grass, but I don't want you anywhere near nature. Remember, boys, they keep calling us far right when in reality we have been right so far. Mother fricker. Conservatives are using my image in a meme. Idiots don't realize I am gay and as far left as you can be. Is there anything I can do to stop this? The image is under copyright. Yeah, that's then you can probably DMCA it, honestly, but <laughs> it's kind of like they're so bad at memeing. It's like, oh, oh, we're gonna make this meme to push our agenda, but they put like a gay dude in the meme. That's really funny though. It's it's like funny in the bad way. Girl, 24 nearby. You've chosen dating locations within five miles of each other's. I once fricked eight dudes in one night. I am a compulsive liar. My psychiatrist says I am antisocial with borderline personality disorder, a diagnosed sociopath. Bonus! I will do your friends for money. DM me for pics of me doing things with my dog. They say there's a lot of fish in the pond. And all those fish are basically pir pir piranhas. Nice. Asian MIT grad asks AI to make her photo more professional. Gets turned into a white woman. Thank you, AI. I mean, to be fair, AI is using training data from humans. So, like, you know, if you thought AI wasn't gonna be racist, who <laughs> do I have news for you? Mom, Bank of America, suspicious activity. You purchased X premium for $8. Eric, we need to talk. This is not what we gave you the credit card for. This is extremely inappropriate. <laughs> this is so good. I love this. The amount of memes that have come out of this name change is going to be absolutely glorious. Thank you, Musky Husky, for giving me this amazing content. Getting a nose job so my future kids can be born with naturally small noses. I'm going to say this is bait because it will make me sleep better. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, thank you so much for... Tuning in here today, you beautiful, fantastic beans, and remember that we have tiny Bobby plushies coming out very soon. Keep an eye out, probably out in September. So, oh my god, they're so cute, you can just squeeze them like this. Ugh! Very beautiful. Have an amazing rest of your day, you beautiful bean. I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.